So welcome, this is Herman Robbers and this is the ABC Networking YouTube channel and uh, this is a new series of uh, demos that I did on EMEA Atmosphere recently in Algarve, Portugal and uh, I decided to record them for you so you can review them or if you didn't make it to Portugal uh, you can see them now for the first time. So I in, have in total uh, three different uh, demos regarding multi-factor authentication or MFA if you see MFA that will be multi-factor authentication where you add uh, additional factors uh, for example and a username password and uh, a token code um, and I have three examples for you so the first and this video uh, will be onboarding where we authorize the onboarding uh, process by a, a text message uh, validation so we'll send a, a code to the user which uh, must be entered uh, in order to onboard the device the second one uh, will be with Duo which is an uh, authentication which you install of an application that you install on your mobile device uh, to authorize, authorize network access and the third one very spectacular uh, Go Verify ID which does uh, biometrics so uh, in that video I will be uh, recording my voice and uh, will be uh, videoing my face and after that I uh, magically have access to the network but let's start with the first one uh, on board with SMS authentication so I prepared a demo where I have the typical uh, the typical onboarding process single SSID onboarding uh, where you connect to the uh, corporate SSID with your username and password then uh, ClearPass will decide that you are uh, not uh, authenticated on a, a known device um, and you must be onboarded in order to get a client certificate so uh, you are then uh, as an employee redirected to the onboarding portal where you are um, uh, triggered for your username password and uh, which is new in ClearPass 6.6 .6, we can trigger you for a SMS text validation and after that uh, you are uh, yeah, redirected to the onboard process which will uh, enroll a client certificate to your uh, mobile device. So let's see how that works for the end user um, and bring on my uh, mobile device. So I do have an uh, iPad here um, which is uh, connected already to my uh, onboarded uh, network which is a uh, 802.1x username password um, SSID. So when I um, start my uh, web browser and um, for example uh, go to uh, the Apple website um, you see that we are indeed uh, intercepted by the captive portal. So ClearPass has detected that I'm uh, not yet onboarded and I'm not using a uh, authorized device. So it will now ask me to uh, sign in to the network. So let's put in my um, um, my username and password. and I press login so so far so good um, this is how we have done that uh, uh, many times but yeah you hear it down there comes uh, uh, comes in a uh, text message and it has an uh, authorization code so uh, let me uh, look that up so it says the authorization code um, in this case uh, will be to uh, 0071 7 I enter confirm and this um, will now kick off the normal onboarding process so this is new in ClearPass 6.6 .6, uh, just with ClearPass and the built-in uh, SMS uh, validation that we uh, can use for guests already we can uh, validate that someone um, has access to the cell phone with a specific number and that specific number is uh, then uh, put up uh, put up a put from a pull from the uh, uh, active directory or for this demo it's in the guest database but it can be in any authentication source um, so I installed the pro uh, uh, the certificate and the next step is to install uh, the profile you probably have seen this uh, many times um, but this process um, will uh, make happen that um, after the onboarding process um, I'm uh, getting a, a client certificate so it's generating the client certificate key now 
um, in the next step it will be uh, generating the certificate and uh, you can see that it, uh, this profile has uh, the Wi-Fi network, um, the device uh, identity and all the required certificates to uh, authenticate uh, securely to uh, the network. So this uh, basically was the uh, uh, provisioning process for, um, for onboarding. So, um, yeah, it says the provisioning has been uh, completed and um, that uh, uh, makes that I'm uh, now connected to uh, the network with my credentials. So, let's see if that uh, indeed uh, worked out. So, this is the ClearPass Policy Manager behind this uh, demo and here in the monitoring tab in the access tracker I can see uh, a few uh, authentications, but most important, this authentication here. Um, this one is uh, the onboarding uh, session. Um, no, nope, I'm lying. Um, so uh, first we see here, uh, uh, this one is dot .1x, which has the multi-factor uh, pre-provisioning uh, role. So if we have a look in here, what we can see here is that um, the role returned is uh, the role homegrown, which will redirect me to the captive portal. And here you can see I'm uh, authenticated with ePeep, uh, username and uh, password. And um, here we see the onboarding process uh, taking place. Um, so um, this is where the certificate is, uh, uh, is, uh, is enrolled. So here we can see for my uh, device uh, who is enrolling. I can see it's an iOS device, it's an uh, iPod, uh, iPad 2.5. Um, I'm onboarding on this uh, SSID. Um, so we have a lot of information here uh, on this uh, specific device and uh, you can see an accept. So we onboarded that uh, device and here in the end uh, you can see that we are uh, reconnected to the network and here we are with EAP TLS which is a certificate based authentication so um, you've seen uh, myself onboarding this device on the network and now I'm connected to the um, and to the corporate network with a client certificate so very nice um, let's uh, bring out some uh, some parts so uh, we'll move to the guest part uh, First important thing is um, I decided that uh, for this demo I put my information in the uh, guest database. This can be on uh, on uh, Active Directory. So in a normal deployment you will be using Active Directory. For this demo I used uh, the guest database. So you can see uh, my cell phone number is here in this uh, specific uh, this specific box. Then. Uh, Let's go to the onboard uh, configuration. So the most important part here is under the provisioning settings. And here under the provisioning settings we have that uh, multi-factor authentication and atmosphere uh, profile provisioning. Um, so um, yeah, this is basically um, like it is all, always. Uh, so from which CA we are enrolling the certificates, um, how we configure uh, the device. Um, but then here on the web login we see some uh, new uh, new fields. So uh, this is the page name uh, that I was redirected to, and um, here with the skin, the custom skin one is the nice atmosphere skin uh, on my device. And um, when we scroll down here, um, this is new in ClearPass 6.6. .6. So here we have a new section, multi-factor authentication where we can select a provider. So I selected SMS verification codes. Um, we can do duo and we can do uh, uh, imageware, um, which is in the next two videos. Um, and there's a third one, uh, facial networks. Um, and then um, here we put in uh, which attribute to use for the uh, authentication. So if we are using uh, Active Directory, um, we'll put in uh, the Active Directory attribute uh, here. And here we can use the uh, service provider. So um, I use the uh, built-in ClearPass Guest SMS provider, which um, in each deployment, or at least each uh, evaluation deployment, you have, I think, uh, 20 SMS credits. And uh, if you need more, um, you can um, configure it here by uh, the uh, gateways. So here you can create new SMS uh, gateways 
um, from one of uh, this list. And you can uh, just order SMS credits there to make this happen. So what we've seen in this video is that it's uh, very easy with the new ClearPass 6.6 .6 multi-factor authentication code to uh, do um, SMS uh, validation, so uh, cell phone validation before users can onboard. So this was a feature that uh, people were waiting for uh, quite some time and uh, I have two more demos so uh, please watch this channel and uh, check those demos out. Uh, the following sessions will be uh, about dual authentication and myometric authentication. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video please like and subscribe and place your comments below this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Herman Robers for ABC Networking.